Okay, good morning, everybody. It's Jason Pick here. Um, this is the first day of uh, 2820, or rather the second day, because I forgot to hit the record button. Uh, so this is uh, just a brief overview of what we talked about yesterday in class. For those of you that missed the meeting, uh, totally uh, fine. We're all on different uh, work schedules and sometimes different time zones. So uh, whenever I can uh, support you in a different way than the typical, it's totally fine by me. I look uh, forward to helping out wherever I can. So as you guys are aware, similar to some of your other internships uh, that you did and, and the one that you just completed with Dave, um, each internship, two of which you have remaining, are eight weeks long a piece. So from here on in, um, you'll be with me until the end of October or the first of November um, is, our, I believe, our last day of classes. So um, to give you guys an overview of what to expect, uh, very similar to what's, what you're used to, you've got something due every week um, starting this Sunday uh, right through until the end of October. So every Sunday you have something due. Uh, it'll be one of two things, a preliminary report or a final report for one of the eight learning goals that I've prescribed in uh, both classes. I want you to consider that TRF 2820 and TRF 2830 are both interchangeable. They can flip flop back and forth and I'll explain uh, a little bit why here this morning. So scrolling through the um, our day to day, now maybe what I'll do is I'll switch over to um, student view. So uh, not to confuse. So this is what you guys see every day. Now you see how uh, really simple this is broken out into. We've got four learning goals. Um, they each learning goal takes two weeks long. Uh, the first in reclamation and establishment, the second weed ecology, third in staff supervision and productivity, the fourth in granular nutrition. So the way uh, I hope you look at these uh, learning goals is the first week, which is your preliminary report, is kind of the planning stage. That's where I want you to plan um, to complete your project in that uh, topic uh, of that module, if you will. So... Um, Looking at the first one, reclamation and establishment, uh, for some of you that may come in different forms. It could be uh, reseeding or overseeding or reclaiming a green that you may have lost for the winter. It could be a tee box. It could be a piece of fairway or a rough. It could be a renovation project that we've that you've taken on on the golf course. All um, good. I want you to look at um, everything that goes into um, reclaiming, growing in some grass. So obviously there's lots of prep um, in there. Uh, with most troubleshooting uh, situations, wherever you've lost grass goes to show that it's either not a suitable location or it hasn't been um, prepped well enough to, um, to survive uh, and you've got to bring it back. The one thing I want to make very clear is um, this is not a simple cut and resod and walk away job. Um, part of reclamation and establishment is uh, learning, finding out why you lost turf in the first place and fixing it so it doesn't have to happen uh, again. So make the most of your time, make it valuable to you, make it valuable to the golf course. The second uh, learning goal, weed ecology. Uh, I want you to identify some uh, weeds out on the golf course, uh, learn their uh, physiology when they're right. Uh, you know, use your um, weed identification keys, learn a little bit about physiology, when the best time to treat and why. Uh, I requ require you to touch base with regards to thresholds. Uh, how do you know when it's time to spray or not? Is that your decision or somebody else's? Um, that's the planning stage and ultimately uh, go out in that last week and control it and control it properly using the right products, the right uh, protective equipment, timing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the third goal, staff supervision and productivity. Uh, simply put, I want you to supervise your crew, uh, ideally for a full week. Uh, if not, if that's not feasible, um, you know, a long weekend or weekend, if that's at the bare minimum, uh, I want you to be able to take responsibility for your crew, uh, plan what the day-to-day the -day is and learn how to prioritize uh, projects and jobs uh, on a weekly basis. And also um, recognize that you've got to be able to uh, work off your feet and um, adjust accordingly. Uh, every single day is a little bit different, which is one of the things that makes our um our field so great and interesting. So I want you to have uh, a little bit of uh, experience doing that with, of course, your mentor involved. Uh, you'll have to ask with regards to every single one of these goals, your mentors need to be involved. 
So they, you need to share that preliminary report with them so they know exactly what's going on. Um, the first or the fourth goal here, granular nutrition, uh, I want you to uh, go out and apply some fertilizer, not just uh, do what you're told. I want you to understand uh, what product you're applying, when it's going to release, how long it's going to last for, understand the uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium that's going in there and out in that specific um, application. Um, there's a few other things I want you to do, and, and to scale, um, a question came up in our in the class yesterday. Well, I'm I'm already reclaiming a tea box. Can I uh, use my fertility goal uh, because we're going to be putting fertilizer down on that tea deck? Um, and I recommended not. Now this is because it doesn't really give enough scale or scope or level of difficulty that I would expect of you guys. You know, at the uh, uh, nearing the end of your uh, turf management diploma. So I want you to be able to uh, apply some grain there to a golf green. Uh, it certainly shouldn't be beyond your scope and uh, you should be able to um, be confident enough to do so. Um, know how much product you're going to be using beforehand, plan it all out, uh, project its um, its release, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So and of course that's, uh, that's the preliminary, the planning and assignment four. I want you to prove to me, validate that you've calibrated that spreader and you've done your math correctly and uh, you've actually applied it. Now, one thing uh, that I wanted to pass on that's uh, exactly the same in both 28, 20, 28, 30 is this alternative learning goal. Uh, I'm calling it self-directed. This is very much like you guys will be doing in your um, work term for your applied science degree, um, where you create your own goals. You identify um, a professional gap or, or um, gap analysis, if you will, of some of the strengths and weaknesses that you have and have the, you have the opportunity to explore some of those uh, as a learning goal on your own. So uh, I, I've, there's always something relevant going on at your golf course. It may not be one of those topics that I've prescribed here. So I want you to be able to have the flexibility to take on those projects. And if you're learning from them, use them as uh, one of your learning goals for um, in this class. So four learning goals for TRF 2820. Uh, the four I've subscribed or prescribed there, you can swap one out um, for the alternative learning goal, um, provided your preliminary report shows sufficient vigor and rigor um, to warrant the competency. So again, very important that you communicate with me what you're planning to do beforehand so I can either approve it or give you some advice how to uh, get it approved. Um, I'll jump into the next class, TRF 2830 which is next, again, it looks very, very similar, but you've got four different goals, um, but it's set up exactly the same. You'll notice they are prescribed for certain dates, but I don't want you to uh, necessarily follow those as I prescribe them. We're working right across the province, uh, in some cases right across uh, the country. Things that happen in Ontario aren't happening the same time they are in um, BC or even Alberta. Uh, so I want you to be able to look at these dates only as a guideline in order to keep you busy. Every Sunday, you've got to be handing something in. It doesn't have to be how I've laid it out. You can swap these out like a deck of cards, whatever's working out best for you. For instance, I want you for uh, the first one, water conservation, um, to do some irrigation repairs. And, and I'm not just talking about twisting head off. Um, it needs to have sufficient vigor, whether you're resequencing, you're uh, upgrading a satellite box to a large valve repair or uh, even an irrigation audit. Those are the kinds of things I'm, I'm talking about. Um, in advanced fertility, we've already done granular, so as you can imagine, I don't want you to repeat it. Uh, this is when we start looking at applying other amendments, foliar, solubles, get an uh, education, a little experience applying spoon feeding fertilizers. Um, the third learning goal I have here, responsible pesticide use. Um, that's as just as you would imagine. That time of year for just about everybody is uh, we're applying fungicides, getting ready for winter. So I want you to uh, um, understand your fungicide program and uh, apply. Get out there and get on that spur. Make sure it's calibrated correctly and with the supervision of your mentor or your superintendent. Get out there and, and uh, put your money where your mouth is. Um, get out there and apply some, uh, some fungicide. Get ready for, do your part to help the course get ready for winter. Uh, last but not least is winter preparations. Um, I know a number of you have stated that you've had experience already in uh, blowout. One of the unique things about our program now that it's uh, so short, starting in January, uh, we have the opportunity to participate in, in 
uh, blowout and that kind of thing. Winter preparation. So what I've done is I've I've kind of grouped winter preparations as a learning goal in itself, giving you guys a great deal of leash in terms of what you want to do with um, uh, with that category. If you have already have experience in blowout, then I wouldn't expect you to to uh, explore that too, too deeply. Um, but I would like you to include it in your write-up. Uh, I want you to record exactly what, what goes on at your golf course to get ready for winter, but not just take directions, not just write down what's happening. I need you to understand and explain why to me. So I know why you uh, see why these things are, are uh, responsible and feasible and why you're doing them. For instance, as an example, um, a golf course with heavy snow cover every year. Maybe you're in Nelson or or interior BC where they get, you know, 10 feet of snow or whatever. Um, if I were to hear in your preliminary report that part of your plan is to put tarps down, insulating tarps, sandwich method, I would question why. And I want you to explain why. Typically with snow, uh, you have enough insulation. So it will kind of eliminate the need to put an insulating layer down. So again, I'm, I'm what I'm getting at is I want you to, to be able to um, explain the why you're doing something, not just verbatim list what somebody else told you to do. Uh, last but not least, and I've got them swapped a little bit here, but you see at the bottom there, alternative learning goals. I do have some alternative learning goals ideas uh, published here for you guys to start wrapping your head around. There's a few other that are littered in between and throughout both courses. Um, horticultural operations, if that's something of your interest, to dig into that. Business management is another one where you, I ask you to go and interview your uh, general manager. And again, very uh, that'll be valuable for the for those of you coming back next year, to, uh, because it is a little bit more business in that third year. Um, understanding how much stuff costs, how much the club makes, uh, where each golf course generates its revenue, that would be a, another alternative learning goal that I think will really help you, especially if you're coming back next year. So something to uh, consider there, guys, as far as um, alternatives. But again, same sort of thing. Look at both 28-20 and 28-30, four goals in each um, uh, course that you can shuffle. like Just like a deck of cards, apply what's best for you. Make sure you involve, uh, at the time, make sure you involve your superintendent, your mentor, uh, because they are going to need to be involved in decision-making. Uh, if you plan to go out and apply granular fertilizer, your superintendent needs to buy it for you. Um, ideally, plan it. So, um, you know, I, I, you have, obviously, we all have applications to make. Plan the one that you're going to do and let your superintendent know beforehand. Um, for chemical applications, incredibly important to talk to your superintendent. Uh, fungicides can be expensive, and we're, we, you guys know enough about intervals and timing to know that... Um, Overlapping when uh, applying fungicides when they're not necessary is a terrific waste of money and uh, not really appropriate in terms of environmental protection. So uh, another good reason why uh, your mentors need to be involved. So on each of your preliminary reports, I want to see your uh, mentor involvement. You'll see at the very bottom. I'll just open up one right here. On every uh, learning goal in both courses, you'll see this sample link highlighted. Um, this takes you to a template. You can choose to use it or create your own, but in my opinion, this is one of the best uh, ways to approach it. Uh, it breaks it into manageable chunks. Um, essays for me, are, are, it's easy for me to miss stuff. So if it's chunked out in the, you know, who, what, where, when, why uh, type of format, it's uh, particularly helpful. Uh, what I was getting at here at the bottom there, mentor support um, down here. You can see uh, what I'm asking you guys to do is, um, Get your mentor involved to answer these very simple questions. Uh, of course, share them, let them at, let your superintendent edit it. And all they have to do is circle it or bold it or write right beside it. Yes, it's okay. You know, um, type of thing. And uh, so it's not meant to take up a whole lot of time, but it is intended to inform your uh, mentor what is going on. Um, reminding that superintendent, um, you know, A, for this chemical application, is it appropriate timing? Is this the right way to do it? Should we be applying this with a backpack or should we be applying it with a boom sprayer? Um, is it appropriate over the time period? Is the interval right? Um, do we have disease pressure at this time that would warrant a treatment? Um, do we have product is the next question. And the last, is it is it feasible that you can support your intern during this time? Um, if your 
superintendent isn't available at that time. Hopefully there's somebody at the club that can stand in, uh, perhaps a, an assistant or otherwise. I can also act as your mentor to double check your math beforehand or, uh, and, you know, in, in uh, some cases I can make it out to the golf course uh, to see it if absolutely necessary. So don't hesitate um, to ask. Uh, but that's the mentor support. That's why we've got to share all our preliminary uh, preliminaries with all your uh, mentors before you get started. Um, I suppose that's uh, that's pretty much everything that we covered in a nutshell. I went over a few extra things in the uh, meeting yesterday that that might have been more helpful than this, but I think this is the um, a good summary of what is going on. Make sure you check these links. Um, it'll definitely give you some uh, um, a way of making sure that you're not wasting your time, make, make the most of it, and in a template layout that I'm expecting you to, to follow or, or hopefully that you'll follow. Um, one last thing, uh, and I'll excuse the jumping around. So every week we have these uh, weekly check-ins. Every Monday between 4 and 5, uh, I'll record it next time, guys. Again, I apologize for that. But um, every week we'll do it, and I'll give you 2.5% per learning goal, so 10% uh, percent over the course of the entire summer internship school, 10% uh, for attending four of these um, weekly meetings. It's just a way of making sure that we're all in touch and communicating and haven't uh, dropped off, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the forums, these are not graded. Um, they're meant for you guys to use, talk amongst yourselves. I will um, scan them to answer any questions you might have. If this is where you have, uh, you can throw something in, what the hell does water conservation strategy mean? Or what's an example of a water conservation strategy if it's not twisting a head off and replacing it with a new one? This is where you can use the discussion uh, tab here, add some discussions, what you're doing, what a colleague might be doing, and I'll be checking those uh, uh, throughout the week and just try to help uh, you guys keep moving in the right direction and stimulate uh, that conversation, get your learning goals squared away. Um, back to the main page here. And my system is looking pretty slow right now. Anyhow, that's, that's in a nutshell, everything that we're going to be covering um, over the next, well, 16 weeks. Um, if you have any uh, questions at all, you know where to reach me through Moodle Mail. Uh, you can call me directly, jpic, uh, or sorry, 403-556-8243. And uh, very happy uh, to help anytime uh, right throughout. So um, don't be a stranger. And um, I'll, I usually make uh, the tour around uh, the province during the summer times. So I always call ahead, let you know I'm coming, and hopefully we can uh, meet up and, and talk turf. So thanks very much, guys. Um, we will catch up to all of you um, soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care, guys.